Hello, how may I help you? Good evening, sir. My apologies for disturbing your evening, but I... Are you selling those mint cookies? Huh? Uh, no. I'm not. Then our business is done here. Uh, sir, wait! I wanted to tell you about the vacation cabin you had visited years ago with your family. You're talking about the property on Bunny Hill. What about it? Well, years ago you said in a survey that you really liked the place. Yes, I did. So what? Hello? Hi! Um, is Mr. Lycan home? He sure is. One moment. Dad, it's for you! I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello? How may I help you? Ah, uh, you must be Derek Lycan. My name is Levin. I'm with the Phoenix Property Brothers. Wait, isn't that a TV show on the Home Network? Haha, <laughs> yep, the one and only. Hey, wait a second. I think I've heard of you. Don't you help my son and his friends with their moving? Really, that's where you remember me from? <clears throat> uh, yes, we sure did. Hmm. I'm sure we've done other business with you, but let's cut to the chase. Why are you here? Well, sir, like I was saying, I'm here to offer you the opportunity of a lifetime. Which is? Well, we have a property open for sale that you had expressed interest in. Hmm. The only property I had ever expressed interest in was the one on Bunny Hill a few towns over. But that was only because my family had a wonderful vacation there many years ago with our friends and their families. That was so long ago. Yes, I know! Which is why I'm here now. You said that you would be interested in buying the property if it ever became open. And now it is! Yeah, that property was so beautiful. But aside from that, the place was only great because of the friends and family we had. The town was weird and the surroundings... Either way, sir, I'm here to offer you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to buy it, since it just went on the market. I'm aware it just went on the market. A lot of my business contacts have looked into it and said it wasn't anything special. So why would I... Oh, one second. That must be our other buyer. Oh, that must be our other interested buyer. Huh? Who would be interested in that? Is yours listening? Yep. Yours? Yep. Ah, so Mr. Lycan is interested. Yes, I understand Mr. Romave is interested, but I'm trying to talk to Mr. Lycan here. Wait a minute. Romave? As in Garte Romave? Yes. One second, though. Well, if Mr. Lycan is interested, how can we refuse such a professional businessman? Huh. If Derek is interested, then this must be an investment worth looking into. Hold up, young man. Don't sell to him. Garte is really pushing to buy? <laughs> well then, let me tell Mr. Lycan the bad news. By no means shouldn't you sell the Garte over me. I'll pay twice what you're asking for. Twice? Wow, well I... Three times the amount of... Three times? That's... Hold up. Stop trying to buy my new property! Not before you stop trying to buy it from me! I've been into buying this property since our family went on vacation there! Same, only my family liked it more! I'm buying it now! Do you take check? Now? Uh... Checks take too long to process! Take this! <laughs> oh. Well, looks like you both are now in a partnership for this property! Congratulations! <laughs> what? Okay, so, this is my yoga routine. Still trying to record yourself doing yoga? Sure am! I'm gonna show Caitlin my progress. <laughs> Why can't you just go over there? Because I'm shy doing yoga in front of her. She's an expert. Plus, it's a surprise for her. Oh. <laughs> All right, babe. Well, I'm going to go hang out with the guys for a bit. All right. See you later. Later, hon. All right. So, let's start with downward dog. 
Uh, Eli! Not again! So, still not enough? Not even close. I've been working my butt off on these extra jobs, and I don't even think I'm gonna have enough money for Aff and I to go to Starlight Wonderland. Darn. Well... Hmm... Oh! Garth! Huh? Garth usually has some good insight to deals and stuff going on in the mall! Let me give him a call and see what he's up to. So, you've come to me on the day of Mall Day to ask for my help with these tickets. Yes, but you can't tell anyone what they're for. It's a surprise for Athmal, so we're trusting you with this information. That goes for you too, Kim. Oh, I would never say anything, I promise. Uh, she's cool, so you can trust her. So, I have a few ideas. First off, why not try selling clothes you don't need? I donate my own clothes, so that isn't even an option. Well, I'm all out of ideas. That's all you had?! Look, aside from working multiple jobs, I'm not sure what else Aaron could do. Honestly, maybe this year isn't a great year to go. Maybe. <sighs> well, we can look online to see if we can find anything to help. Good idea, Kim. Let's get looking. We've tried this once before, but we can try again. I'll go get my laptop. I bought it first, so the property should rightfully be ours. You paid the property manager in gold. That doesn't count. You're just jealous you don't have gold on hand. Who even does that anymore? Derek! Garte! Can we talk about this in a civil manner? Yes, please. It's embarrassing watching you two squabble like bratty kids. Agreed! Besides, it's pointless to argue when the property is clearly ours. Right! I... Hey, wait a minute! What? It's true. I mean, Derek does have a point. Who carries around gold? It wasn't even enough to actually pay the guy, and Garte had to write a check anyway. I'll have you know that Garte is very much into minerals and collects them, thank you very much! The property belongs to us! I don't see your name on it. You don't even know where the property is! In my heart, because I love it so much. There's no I way you're getting out of here. It's not going to belong to our family. It's such a great deal. So don't pretend like that was me. Just act like you love it. Please don't worry. You want to start. You can even fight for what is right. You can't believe you're acting like a child. 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 You Okay, so I just got off a call with the Phoenix Property Brothers, and they gave me the rundown of the place. Ha! That's my girl. Good job getting the property for us, Melissa. Dad, just because I'm your daughter doesn't mean I'm going to play favorites. Now, the brothers told me that the property belongs to both the Romay family and the Lycan family. It's a shared property. Oh, oh man. man. Before you guys throw a hissy fit, it's a much better deal. Plus, it's a cheaper buy for both of our families. Honestly, it seems like the place might need a bit of love and care before any of us decide to vacation there. What? But that place was beautiful! It was. But I'm pretty sure if the property hasn't been touched in a while, it might need some work. I'm just taking a guess on that, though. She's right. Hmm. You know what, honey? I bet Aaron could fix up that place in a few months. Ah, right. I forget how resourceful Aaron is. I bet he could do it. Now wait a minute. Garth could do a much better job than Aaron ever could. Or Zane! Ziana, we need the place to be fixed, not destroyed. Ha! Have you seen the muscles on my son? He's much more suited for the job. Garth has more muscles than Aaron! Or Zane! Ziana! Brain muscles! Allow me to show you where he gets it from. Oh no, darling, please don't. Ha-ha! It's genetics! False! It's indetermination! Let me show you! Ha 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 See? <sighs> Rachel... I'm... sorry, Ziana. Same. <laughs> oh yeah! Ooh, 
What about walking dogs? You can charge per dog. That sounds like a great idea. Aaron, aren't you great with dogs? Then it's perfect. It would be, but I'm pretty sure Aff would notice something like that. And the whole point of this is it's supposed to be a surprise. Uh, true. With her love for animals, Aff would definitely notice something like a bunch of dogs. Or the smell. She would definitely notice something like that. Guys, I appreciate it, but honestly, I think there's nothing we can do. I think maybe I'll put it off for a year or so. Huh? Hello? Garth, are you with Aaron? Yeah? Hit his phone out of his hand! Can I hit your phone out of- No. Dad, what's going on? What's going on is that I have a job for you! Dad, I don't need a job. I'll pay you a lot for this. Normally, I wouldn't listen to you, but... <sighs> Go on. Good. Now hit Gareth's phone out of his hand. No. Oh, come on. It'll be funny. You know that both Gareth and I can hear you're in the same room, right? What's going on? We need you to take care of a property for us. That's right. We... Hey! Son, I need you to take a trip for me. Why don't you come over to the Romave's house and we'll discuss more. This is of utmost importance. <sighs> All right. We'll head over. Be there soon. What? No. Don't bring Gareth. I... Ha! Ah! Hey! Oh, and Gargar! Bring Suzu! Say Anna! We want to fix the place, not destroy it! Well... Sounds interesting. If anything, I'm at least willing to hear them out. Right, let's go!